Hey guys, today we are going to discuss this problem. So it's also a 1800. This problem is quite interesting. So let's begin. As always, we are going to start with the uh, example here. So the first, the input is only one number. So this number means we are going to have um, from uh, have integers from two to four, right? So we are going to have these three integers. And uh, what are we going to do with them? Actually, we are going to have two, three, four, and minus two, minus three, and minus four. And uh, we can have a bridge between two numbers if um, the two numbers satisfy this condition. So if the first number is A and the second number is B and we have uh, AX which is bigger than two and smaller than N, then we can build a bridge between these two nodes. So uh, the condition is that the absolute value of X is uh, smaller or equal than N and uh, uh, bigger than two, right? Let's uh, use this first example. So between two and uh, minus four, there is a bridge, right? Because uh, if A equals to two and B equals to four, uh, actually minus four, we can find a minus two here. So we can build a bridge. And uh, there is a bridge between two and four, right? Because we can find the uh, X as two, right? So the X here is going to be added as a score here. So we are going to talk about what can we do with the score? So first, we are going to build all of those uh, bridges first, right? So we consider the uh, first uh, six numbers and uh, we be, uh, build a bridge here, uh, build a bridge here, build a bridge uh, here, and build a bridge here. And the X we are using is two, 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 right? And uh, we are going to travel. We are going to select a node as a starting point. You can select any node as a start point. And you can travel between these bridges. And uh, one bridge can only be traveled once, right? And uh, you are going to add the score on the bridge to your final score and uh, your goal is to make the final score as big as possible, right? In this case, you can start from, you can start from this node and uh, travel this bridge, you get uh, two points and uh, go to this node, you get another two points, you go to this node, another two points and eventually you come back to two, the initial node, which give you another two points. So in total, you get eight points. Essentially, you traveled all of those bridges and you get eight points. And you use this as the output because it is the uh, biggest value you can find, right? So, uh, Let's take a look at the second example here. So for the second example, we are going to have six numbers in which in total we are going to have 12 numbers, right? And uh, we are going to build a few more bridges. 
So the first bridge we are going to build is this one, right? And uh, let's use another color, right? This is uh, a bridge with two as a score. Uh, this is a bridge, two as a score. This is a bridge, two as a score. And uh, what else? Yeah, this is a bridge, right? And uh, two to six, right? Two to six, which is three, and the two to minus six, three, two to minus six, three, two to minus six, three. So what how many how many points do we have in total? So three, three, six. Uh, three, we have four threes, which is 12, right? And we got uh, the initial eight, right? And we got the pink eight. So in total, there are 28. So why do we just uh, calculate the total here? The reason is that, uh, as we can see, for each node, um, if it has a pair here, uh, let's just consider the positive numbers. If uh, six has a uh, bridge between uh, two, that means it also has a, uh, has a bridge to minus two. And uh, uh, that means it has two bridges. Right, if it has a one bridge to the positive value, it means that it has another bridge to the negative value. That means uh, the bridge, the out uh, degrees of six will always be even, right? Uh, this is a very important uh, feature for the node. So the out degrees of one node will always be even. With that being said, there is a theory called uh, Euros uh, theory saying that uh, if all of the degree of, if all of the nodes degree are even, that means we can travel all of the bridge uh, once and we can, um, make sure that we travel all of the bridge once and uh, travel all of the bridge, right? So that's the Eros uh, theory. So with that being said, if all of the uh, nodes are connected, that means we can just uh, simply add the scores of the bridges together and output them. But uh, how can we be sure that all of the nodes are connected? So what I'm saying that is that if there is a bridge between two numbers, that means these two numbers are connected with the rest of the graph so that we can add the score of this bridge to the final value, right? So how can we be sure of that? So we can prove that. Uh, to prove that, we are going to prove a uh, theory first. The theory is that uh, uh, if an integer a can be transformed into b, uh, this part means that, uh, if a, a and b, if there is a bridge between a and b, then x and the two are in the same component. Uh, in other words, uh, there it means if there is a a can be written in this manner, then 
two and the x are in the same component. That the say in the same component means that uh, there are some bridges uh, link to link between uh, x and the two, right? So how can we uh, approve that? So first, uh, let's say we already uh, make sure that this statement is true. Then what what can we get from this statement? So if uh, we have this formula and uh, two and X are in the same co component. That means A and B are in the same co component, right? This guy means this uh, A and B and are in the same component. And also uh, this guy means uh, two and X are in the same component. And uh, this guy also means X and A are in the same component, right? Why is that? Because uh, we can switch the place of uh, X and A so that uh, uh, now here the A can be uh, the row of X and uh, with this formula, we can know that uh, X can have a bridge between uh, B and X, right? So X and A are in the same component, which means X and B are in the same component. So these three are in the same component. And uh, two and uh, these three guys are in the same component. So all of them are in the same component, right? Because all of the nodes are in the same component with two. So if we can uh, uh, prove that uh, this statement is true, then we can prove that uh, all of the nodes are connected, right? So how can we prove this uh, statement? So let's do this. So first we are going to have uh, a x equals to b, right? And if x equals to two here, then this statement is automatically true, right? And x, if x is not equal to two, then x is bigger than two, right? Then we can find a uh, two x which is smaller than A and smaller than B and smaller or equal than N here, right? And let's say this guy equals to C, right? Because C is smaller than N, right? So we can be sure we can find A uh, two here to make C can be transformed into X, which means C and X are in the same components. And also two and X are in the same components, right? We, uh, we already approved this before. So two and uh, X are in the same component. So this guy, these three guys are all in the same components. So uh, this statement uh, is proved, right? So with that being said, we only need to find all of those bridges and find all of the score of those bridges and add them together, we can get the final score, right? So now we need to find all of the bridges so how can we do that? So we can uh, find the each, uh, each score of a bridge one by one. So first we are going to find how many bridge of two there. So because uh, as we said before, if we find a two uh, in the positive uh, pair, Right. If we find a bridge here, we can be sure that there are another three uh, bridges uh, here, right? 
we can always do that. So we can uh, easily, we can just uh, find the bridges in the positive array and uh, uh, find their sum together and uh, then just uh, multiply it by four, right? So let's just uh, remove uh, all, all the negative numbers from the graph, right? So let's do that. Um, I'm not actually sure how to erase that. So let's see. Um, let's just uh, pretend that they don't exist, all right? So let's just uh, uh, consider the graph. above the pink line, all right? So we are going to find all of those uh, bridges with the score two. So we can find a bridge here, right? And find a bridge here, right? Because three multiplied by two equals to six. So we can find a bridge here. So also, can we find a bridge here? Because eight is already bigger than n, so we cannot find a bridge here. So uh, can, how can we find the bridges with uh, score three? So first we can find a bridge here, two multiplied by three equals to six, so we find a bridge here. And can we find a bridge, uh, another bridge, so three, multiply by three equals to nine. Nine is already outside of the range. So we can't. Can we find a bridge with a four as a score? No, we can't, right? Because four my, uh, multiplied by four equals to 16. So already out of range. So we can only find, find three bridges here and their sum is uh, seven. And then we are going to multiply seven by four, which equals to 25. Voila, we get the uh, final answer. So I guess that's it. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, code here. So really simple code. We read the N and keep the uh, answer and we are going to iterate the score of each kind of bridge, right? First, we find the bridges with the score two, and we are going to find out how many bridges are there. So we use this n uh, divided by i and uh, minus one. So this is the number of bridges that with the score two. And if the number is bigger than x, we just uh, add the uh, total score into the final answer, right? The total score is the number of bridges multiplied by the score of the bridge. And in the end, we are going to multiply by the uh, four because there are another three set of bridges, right? So I guess that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. See you next time.